He's even considered as a dangerous detainee. Being held in a segregated wing of the Joe prison in the same cell with other five detainees accused as members of a branch of the ISIS, of the Bin Ali clan, who has been also criticized by Nabil. So they put him there in order to isolate him from other prisoners with the fear, of course, not to contaminate them with his ideas. Well, Nabil is very well known for his anti-extremist positions. And we see this detention under these particular circumstances as a direct threat to his safety. We've received alarming, credible reports about the reliability of the medical care afforded to Rajab. And we have reasons to believe that his health conditions are not treated in the adequate way. So our sources, credible information sources, reveal that Nabil's safety is on risk and we fear for his life. The situation has become very serious since the uprising of 2011, but over the last 12 months or so, we've seen a fairly dramatic uh, downturn in the human rights situation with some very alarming uh, indicators of how things have deteriorated. Uh, leading human rights defenders over the last 12 months have either been forced into exile or trapped inside the country. Uh, we believe that there are several dozen human rights activists who are not allowed to leave the country, uh, and some of those have been targeted in direct reprisal for their engagement with the United Nations uh, and other international fora.